Hill Chapel that uh, we're going to have November 2nd, uh, Saturday, a week from Saturday, here on site at the chapel to raise the funding for the complete restoration. Uh, you can see behind me the wonderful stained glass windows that are in uh, great need of repair. And uh, uh, in the video that we're producing here, you'll see the other features, uh, wonderful uh, things of this chapel that was built in 1899. Also joining uh, Jim and I at the open house will be Jackie Woods, uh, Ron Stutterland, and uh, many friends uh, from the Oak Hill Chapel, the group that we've started, uh, which we have meetings every Monday uh, at 9 o'clock at the Old Town Mall, lower level, that the community is always welcome to join to see the progress of raising the donations for the complete restoration here at Oak Hill Chapel. Come and see the current conditions of the chapel uh, here on site. Meet the friends of Oak Hill Chapel. Uh, come and ask about the restoration project. Enjoy free refreshments and donate to the restoration effort. This uh, uh, arch top of the double hung window, as you can see the medallion of the anchor, it's multiple cracks and uh, that'll have to be repainted and uh, replaced in the building process of each and every window. As you can see with this double hung, the lead uh, came that was used being 114 years old, it oxidizes and then it uh, is a defect that it just pulls off in different spots uh, where that would, this window would be totally uh, taken apart and uh, re-lettered, re-cemented into the, uh, the new state that will last another 114 years when you're completely done. As you can see this one here, it was replaced with uh, a clear uh, amber type uh, replacement glass, a texture glass, and even that was damaged where they siliconed the cracks to keep it in place. This one is a memorial window uh, back from 1898 it stated uh, that was uh, by, for a William Star Judd uh, that, as you can see, is multiple cracks and, and holes that will have to be totally restored. As you can see the south uh, side of the chapel, these uh, have all been replaced with uh, a textured amber glass as well because the originals were vandalized through the years and thrown out. As you can see, 80% are missing, which will have to be all rebuilt and uh, matched to the north side and reinstalled. The natural plaster of the walls here, uh, as you can see, uh, is deteriorating. All the wainscot uh, siding inside the chapel here uh, was uh, originally red birch. The doors, uh, Jim and I found the original doors in the basement when we found the, the stained glass pieces uh, in parts of the windows uh, that we would like to restore to the original condition and reinstall. The stained glass windows above the door, the three arch, uh, are missing as you can see and replaced with the amber textured glass. We will match those with the others and reinstall them as well. The one at the very top, which is the round uh, four foot diameter window, that one we're asking the public for pictures that they've uh, probably had service here or relatives that had services here at one time or another that may have pictures of what that window looked like so we could match it up and and build it and re, uh, reinstall it just like the day it was built. Through the documentation that we've done uh, the research on, uh, it was stated that uh, uh, 
original floors were made from hardwood, so we would like to uh, uh, remove all the carpeting here and re-sand the floors and bring it back to the original state. These uh, chairs here, uh, I believe, were donated uh, in the very beginning by uh, Mr. Ashcraft of the furniture company here in Janesville in the early 1900s when this uh, chapel was built and opened and uh, he referred to them as an upgrade camping chair that was fold foldable as you can see I believe they're the original chairs. The podium here and uh, also the uh, step up uh, to the altar uh, would also be uh, redone and uh, brought back to the original condition. Another uh, great uh, uh, item of information came forward at, at the last meeting we had last week that a local citizen from Janesville here uh, had bought the original uh, organ and would like to donate it back to the uh, Oak Hill Chapel after the restoration has been completed. The wood beams in the ceiling as you can see uh, are have been painted through the years uh, and that is another feature that we would remove all the paint and bring it back to the natural state. Okay, these are the original doors that were uh, put in place in 1899 when the church, the chapel was built. As you can see with the heavy duty hinges here, they are uh, been formed right into the block. Uh, that would tell you that they are definitely original from 1899. The foundation uh, is in solid condition, but as you can see with uh, the stonework, uh, there's a lot of gaps and uh, voids where it has to be re-tuck pointed, and uh, uh, that is a large they job They've uh, tried itself. to repair the stained glass windows from time to time by caulking them in place. And uh, then, of course, uh, there's no storms where they've uh, just put this uh, uh, heavy duty screening over it, stapled it in place. It will deflect rocks and possibly a BB gun, but uh, uh, the proper way to do that, of course, is to put heavy duty storms against those glass windows to protect the original them. From roof years is, to come. Uh, you can see, has been uh, uh, shingled uh, many times, and the original state was slate. One of the original features of the chapel here is they had a beautiful fountain, uh, like a three, uh, two or three uh, tier fountain. The water is still here. As you can see, the base is the only thing that's left. And we've been searching uh, through records to get the ideal design of that fountain so we can even replace that. Well, we thank you for watching this, and we hope that you can make it uh, November 2nd, right here on location, the Oak Hill Chapel, uh, to look for yourself at the beautiful chapel in the windows and, and make a donation and help us, uh, the friends of Oak Hill uh, Chapel, to do this restoration for many, many years to come.